Yeah, you. No, not you. The other guy. You right there. Yes, you. Do you like toys? How you doing, everybody? This is Val from Needful Toys. Hey, this is Floyd, Floyd's Comics and Toys, out at the White Elephant Flea Market, uh, located at 15560 East Freeway, uh, booth number three, right across from the birds. Yeah, so if you're coming down <laughs> Butway 8 and you take I-10 to your right, the first exit you could actually take is Sheldon. Just exit Sheldon, you'll see the white elephant right there on your right-hand side, turn in, and he's inside the building. You can't miss it. Um, Today on What the Dog Brought In, we're visiting Floyd on a Saturday. Uh, he actually, uh, when you see the other video, you'll see that he's the guy that supplied us with uh, March's uh, raffling of the Spider-Man, the anti-venom that was partially donated by him. Gave us a great deal so we could actually give it away. Um, We've talked about it time in, time out. If you're ever looking for pops at a real decent price, this is the location to go. He has usually a great selection, and he's very reasonable on pricing. <laughs> I'm new at this, so uh, I appreciate y'all coming out and, and yeah. doing this and giving me a shout out. Um, I guess a little bit of history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been here at the White Elephant since uh, 2009. I've been in the business since 2005, um, after we had the hurricane scares. And uh, I started with my own personal collections. I was doing little shows here and there, Comic Palooza. And then uh, 2009, we opened up here, same booth. I've been here, yeah, yeah, however many years it's been now. Mm -hmm. And 11 years, yeah. And then uh, 2012, the place burned down. Uh, we opened back up in 2014. I used to do just uh, dollar books and uh, discount toys and once after the fire I got on with Diamond and different distributors and I went new new stuff so Pops, Funko, Legends, um, I still have some vintage stuff it's hard to come by. Um, um, but comics? Comics, yeah. Um, don't you can't see a whole lot of comic toys are my main sellers now but but i do have a good selection i have a warehouse full of co comics uh and this is just yeah. a fraction right now this I see, is just yeah i see like a lot of your posts where where you actually just show at your warehouse where everything is just stacked up just needing the room hopefully you yeah. get that bigger room to, to yeah and to bring more i mean is it okay to shout out other shops yeah 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 like uh richard with uh bedrock he's been pushing me for years like hey you need to go full time but unfortunately my regular job they value me a lot so you know i started out doing it for fun you know make a few bucks uh that's why I like i like giving discounts it's like whatever i pay i don't care about pop price guide i don't care what ebay i mean if if i can make somebody happy or you know if a, if a kid can enjoy something or an adult you know it just depends on what i what i put into it then i can sell it yep yeah. And, and like I said, uh, I'm sure you've seen multiple of, multiple of our halls. We, you know, usually when we come here, man, it's it's not hard to get <laughs> caught up and spend a hundred, two hundred bucks because I mean, he usually has a lot of great stuff at a really great price. And well, y'all turned into one of my best customers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, yeah. I mean, you always take care of us every single time we yeah. come down here. So and, it looks and forward. Just never come early. Yeah, don't I'm come terrible. early. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> yeah. I'm terrible on, on, on responding. People call me and they're like, Dad, we can't never get him to answer. He's never open. Uh, don't come down without checking with me. I do My regular job yeah. takes most of my time, five, six days a week. But, yeah, I mean, I've got people, uh, if you make appointments, you can come to the warehouse. Uh, you know, you just... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I, I come to people. I actually deliver. I've had people delivering over Christmas. Uh, you know, they couldn't come out to the shop. They don't, they can't, they live too far away. I'll go to the Woodlands. I'll go to Conroe. I'll, where, wherever you need me, I'll go. Have toys, will travel. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. He's <laughs> like... And I'm good for hunting stuff down. People tell me, "Oh, I can't find this." Okay, well, give me give me a few. I, I I'm I'm good about hunting stuff down. You know, and and then still have a reasonable price. Yeah, very very reasonable. Um, uh, Marvel Legends. I love coming here because a lot of time he'll have, you know, 
instead of being completely overpriced man usually man 20 bucks will get you what you need mm -hmm. and uh we even talking the the hard to get ones as well you know so if there's a lot of a lot of certain ones you're looking for if he has a man just know pretty much his consistency of 20 bucks is great like mm -hmm. yeah yeah, we, yeah dude yeah, and, and, and the funny thing about it i told him i said look when i didn't want it I, I would find them they were like peg warmers every walmart yeah. i would be like three four the instant that i had everything but that leg i was like all right cool you know that i saw them at every walmart like four walmarts and in in GameStops later nothing so and he kept calling him Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah. He kept saying Hawkeye. No, there well, is no Haw that, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said you kept Hawkeye. There is no Hawkeye. I'm, I'm, I'm like, like I'm, <laughs> I'm like, it's the dude with the wings. I'm Hawk Man. Yeah, whatever he may be. I'm like, I just, I just need the dang leg. That's yep. all I want. I don't care about the rest of the guy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was like. And I just hung him up before y'all came in that day. Awesome, man. I'm glad, yeah. man, because that actually, I'm not sure if you saw him, man. He looks great. I ended up doing a, a Shadow King's head. Oh. With uh, uh, Space Venom's hands. So his oh. Venoms, they're white on the inside and black on the outside with the triangles. Okay. And it matches uh, Joe Fixit's foots, oh. his, the black and white shoes. Yeah. So, okay. You know, it, it turned out great. Now I just got to make room for, I need a Daredevil now. Oh, okay. Which one? I don't know. One that looks close to the original one. I, yeah, oh. I'm, I'm, as we're thinking, I'm like scanning yeah, to see. Yeah, that's what I was like. Go, I, I, go, I, I found I, my fifteen twenty dollar daredevil. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, and I've got. Uh, I don't know. Something just came in this week at the warehouse when I went. Uh, when I leave here today i gotta go check in and i've got some more new legends and new pops and so i never know i'm I, i'm always buying collections that's you know like you keep the wheels turning yeah unfortunately with the COVID 19 i mean you know but it's been it's been a buyer's market yeah every everybody's been unfortunately out of work or whatever but you know the the bigger shops are out there but i feel good that people are starting to come to me yeah yeah it's it's and like i said we've we've pushed it trying to get people to come i'm like man um i always tell people like like hey if you and i have it i was like man go, you can get a better price with floyd that's like <laughs> he, he, yeah that. yeah he, he'll take care of you i said there's a lot of my stuff that i've that we're getting rid of i said it's my personal collection mm -hmm. so if i don't sell it i really don't feel that bad mm -hmm. you know my heart don't hurt yeah so if they can save you know five or ten dollars cheaper and catch it with you hey by all means dude and that's the thing me and you many of us have talked about it i said there's enough on the table for everybody to eat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no reason to cutthroat anybody. I was mm -hmm. like, look, man. So most of the time, like I said, if I, when we glance and we see something and we don't have it and somebody says, well, blah, 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 I'm like, yep, you know, here's where mm -hmm. you need to go. But yep. yeah, it's, if they've never been here, dude, it, sometimes it's a little different. I know, it's funny. This place has been here, how long, 40, 50 years? Dude, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm remember when I was like maybe eight or nine years old, I used to come up here with my dad. That's everybody asks me why are you here? Because yeah. I mean honestly, yeah, when you pull in, it does look kind of like a shithole. Mm. But <laughs> you'll be you'll be surprised on what you can find. I mean, memories to go into Mexico. Yeah, I mean, but I used to come out here as a kid. My mom and my sister, we used to they used to clean houses, and we'd be out there, little kids, you know, popping the fire. Uh, the, the, the little, the little, the, yeah, the little guns. There, yeah. yeah, and it's like so when I decided to do this, I was like, man, I feel. Yeah. A connection out here and I built a nice little fan base yeah um, there's a few shops out here you know like I tell my I tell my people that come in here I said hey if you can't wait for me there's a shop over here off of uh, Wallaceville awesome. it's called R&R &R. real great guys they started out as collectors they bought out another shop and then uh, there's a uh, Baytown I want to say it was I can't remember if it was all-star oh no 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 um, Nico's Nico's right yeah. on right on uh, Texas Street he's yeah. a great guy he started with dimensions mm. um, great guy I mean you know there's an olive branch for everybody yeah, yeah you know like you said there's too much there's too much out there to yeah. have you know yeah, to, 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 I mean fighting for 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 what it's, there's no point in it man Every it should be just harmony yeah and i mean if if, if, if you just want to take a drive yeah. i mean just come out east you know you can hit me up you can hit baytown there's a uh, another shop in kima i love his shop i don't have you ever been to dimensions 
Yeah. He, Which one's the one that had all the comic books? Yeah. Is that that him, one? Him, but he has a maze. You go yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It he, has a whole bunch of comic books in the back. Yeah. yeah but he's no. got a horror room. He's got a rock and roll room. He's got, I mean, yeah. it scared the shit out of me the first time I went because I turned the corner and there was a Michael Myers standing in the doorway. <laughs> and I was like, you're not expecting that, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, he, uh, um, Ben with Dimensions. I yeah. mean, we, all those been, guys, man, they support uh, Robert uh, out in out off of uh what is it is it Wilcrest? yeah robert or uh, atomic monkey used to be yeah. pop culture mm -hmm. he supported me for years uh, he supply he used to supply me before i got on with different uh yeah, vendors. vendors yeah yeah he, he'd call me up and say hey man come pick up these 200 boxes of comics hey come pick up these pops mm -hmm. i mean i mean for other dealers out there too i mean he he'd do the same thing and I mean, just there's a lot of great people in this industry. Oh yeah, there is. I mean, and that's uh, appreciate. It. And are you gonna start doing more shorts, and mo more shows next year? Shows? Yeah, yeah. If like we can get past stuff. the oh, if we can get past COVID, yeah. I mean, and the shows actually, I mean, it's harder for me with my work schedule. Yeah. But like the one day shows, uh, I started with Mike, yeah. uh, the Gulf Coast show back from his second. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, you started at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I've been with Gulf Coast for, since the beginning. Yeah, but I love the, uh, the Armadillo flea market. <laughs> we could pull up right yeah. to our spot, take out as much space as you want in the mall. Yeah. And back then he started out as two day shows and then he realized everybody was like, nah, we just want one day. And I mean, but it was great. I mean, Mike, I mean, everybody involved with that. Y'all, I mean, that's how I met most of y'all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, I mean, there's just, I don't know. It's a camaraderie. It's a yeah. family. It just, it don't, you know, like I said, yeah. I, I hear some of the beefs out, you know, and I just, I can't believe it, you know, like. Yeah, I got to the point, like, I, and I, this is the same thing I talked with Mike. I said, once this is all done and I don't have nothing to sell, and I just come out here to buy it. I said, mm -hmm. I'm still going to hold the same tables. I said, It'd probably be just dinner tables and <laughs> set tables. And we talk yeah. about the good stuff we found at the show. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's really we go there to visit everybody before we even, you know. Well, I know so, sometimes it's like it, I feel like I'm kind of an asshole sometimes because like, oh, dear, okay. Yeah. When, when I'm at the show, I don't mingle. I don't go around because I'm going to see something I want. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm here to make money, not spend money. And it's like, so I'll stay in my little zone. Yeah. And <laughs> no, I did that one time. My wallet loved me. Yeah. But, but, I, but most of the time, it's just one of those things that... that, that my wife, she's like, "What's your budget?" I'm like, eh. <laughs> "Well, no." She'll ask me, "What do you What are you looking for?" And I'm like, "I'm looking for this, this, and this." She's like, "That's it." Mm. You know, if you find it, we're good. If we don't, no, don't just keep buying everything you see. And it's gotten better. Yeah. At first, it was like you know we'd blink and you know, seven hundred dollars later, and you're like, <laughs> he's like, "Didn't we come to sell?" And we're like, "Eh, but they had a lot of good stuff." But that's another mm. thing. It's there's always great deals out there. Oh and, yeah. And we're all about, you know. Well, you we know get, Brian, right? Brian from where? Uh, from the Gulf Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. I, he he would be the main guy I always end up buying from because he'd always have the stuff that I grew up with, like. Uh, I think it was one show I couldn't set up and it was uh I bought all his micronauts yeah. in the packages yeah. and unfortunately they burned with the fire. I had them in the showcase up at the wall. I was so proud of them. And then uh but yeah, he'd be the one I'd always end up buying from because he like one time he had nothing but Atari's 2600, 5200 mm -hmm. and he was like he he'd give you he's he's out of the dealer part of it, but he's always there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, pretty pretty great guy. I'm trying to think who else. I mean, a lot, a lot of. Here and let me show them oh. again. What, what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. How does it look on the? So this is what, uh, partial donation from, from Floyd's. Uh, gave us a really great deal on this pop. So, this is going to be. We're going to actually. Uh, Raffle this out in uh, March's Gulf Coast Toy Show. Oh, cool! Awesome. And then uh, if people come by the house or whatever, they purchase. It's 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 a it's, it's, a, a, it's a giveaway. Yeah. So literally, if you purchase some from for every twenty they spend, we give them a, a ticket. Okay. And then we put all these tickets in there. We shake them up about an hour before it closes in March, mm -hmm. and we give it away. Wherever we pull, they don't have to be there. Awesome. You know, as long as. Uh, they have their matching piece of the ticket, you're good. And then the same thing we're doing is if they come beforehand mm -hmm. and they're buying stuff at the house, we're still giving them the same opportunity as anybody else. You know, if 
you know, if they buy some at the house like a month beforehand, we still have them sign the tickets, throw them in the thing, and then as soon as everything's done at the end of the show, mm -hmm. we'll raffle it. So, you know, just because they buy stuff early doesn't mean they're 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 yeah. zeroed out. But we will pull. Okay. You know, we'll end up giving it away in March. Oh, that's awesome. But again, uh, thank you, man. I, no, appreciate, man, I appreciate everything appreciate you've done. Uh, uh, like, I mean, thank y'all again. All the shout outs and. No, and trust me, we do. It's like. Uh, we love our customers and, and we, you know, we want them to enjoy the same thing. So, you know, we find uh, pop hunts here and, and mm -hmm. you know, we always pass it to everybody else. You know, if one of our people gets it before us, hey, great. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's oh, just a... I wanted to show, let me see if I got them right here. Like, just so people know that I'm not, not just toys, but let me see. I mean, we've got, I've got comic books. I mean, like I said, the shop is small, but... Oh, wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? There. Is this the one with Molten Man? I think so. Yeah. Let's see. Number 35. First Blade. Flirt, first Kiss. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Wait That's a minute. You know, it's just not, it's not just a bargain bin, you know, comic shop. Last yeah. Ronin, Here's 1 in 25. Yeah. Oh, where's the one I was... Oh, yeah. The, You know, just to show, you know, like, hey, there, I got, I've got a warehouse full of this stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was looking and for so, my, my Yeah, it, it's pretty much a, a, a honey hole for. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah, First yeah. carnage. <laughs> so. Raw, raw copy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a raw copy and it's got, it's the uh, newsstand edition, which is more rare. Yeah. So, just so people know, like, hey, it ain't just a bargain bin. Yeah, no, you there's know. good stuff here. Yeah. And there's like, uh, well, I would go and pull more stuff out of here. But <laughs> I kind of, I kind of cleaned them out today. But the, the, the nice thing about them is this is a shop that you may clean them out today. You come next week and it's like you never touched it. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're talking, he has mass quantities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally, it, it's, it, the shop is inadequate for what he has. Mm -hmm. So every single time you try to put holes in his, product that he has he'll fill them back up trust oh, me and i do and i do lay away yeah and i hold i mean yeah. like you know if you tell me you know you come in you 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 find something you can't you know i'll work with you on price i'll work with you on time uh i've got one customer she put five hundred dollars worth of stuff on hold and i know it took and her I, took you yeah y'all were in here when yeah. yeah she she beat y'all to some of the good stuff and, yeah and and, 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 it's, <laughs> and we know her as well and she's a great lady so yeah. we're, we're like dude awesome at least at least it went to a collector yeah so yeah. That, that's great you know that I can't you, you can't you can't hate on that man it, it yeah. actually went to a great collector you know we're like awesome at least I didn't, she, it, it's kind of it stayed <laughs> it stayed in the family kind of thing so mm. you know that's that's a great way of of handling things yeah <laughs> but no I appreciate it man All right. so again thank you Floyd uh, thank we're you usually <laughs> we're usually uh, here he's here for sure every sunday every we're, sunday and we good timing for us we always get here about 11 ish 11 ish he's usually here yeah and if he's not when you walk in you'll see a sign and it has his phone number blow it up yeah if yeah. you know if you don't pick it up send text yeah you'll, you'll answer <laughs> one way or the other everybody everybody says oh man you, you're terrible at getting a hold of but it's like <laughs> you know i will respond eventually <laughs> yeah in time yeah I, best thing to do on the text is i have money come <laughs> usually that's a it's a motivator yeah, yeah. Got, I got I got one customer. She shows up at uh, 4:45 every time. The, the lady was yeah. at 4:45, 15 minutes till close. It's yeah. like, <laughs> and she probably does that to like time frame her. I said I can't cause that much damage in 15 minutes. But um, oh, y'all got yep. I know y'all got stuff to do too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah uh, no man, it, 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 it's different Christmas this year, man. We lost a lot of good people in our family, and uh, I would say around. Our family, but literally, you know, some of the people are, are more than family, and yeah, it's just it's this been a well, even some of our toy guys. Yeah, yeah, I man. Believe, yeah. Uh, yeah, Caesar. I mean, yeah. you know, I just, that blew me away. Forty-seven years old. I mean, yeah, it, and it's crazy, man. It's like a lot of people taking. Uh, 
COVID and all that, and and, and I'm glad that like all the shows that we have been attending, mm-hmm. they've just been really strict with it, you know. Oh yeah, hand sanitizer everywhere you go, mm-hmm. you know, mass, etc., cetera, yep. etc. Cetera. Forgot so, I got mine. So I everybody, got a yeah, big bio, yeah. yeah, everywhere. So, <laughs> so everybody's playing it safe, man, and you have to because I mean mm-hmm. we're losing a lot of good people. Yeah, you know, it's, it's over crazy. This, over this stuff, so they're, they're, they were joking on Facebook about the, you know, making it to the first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> so. It's crazy, man. But no, no, man, it was a pleasure. Okay. Thank y'all again. As soon as this thing goes off, uh, I see some more stuff I want and some hand sanitizer. Oh yeah, yeah. Hit her like that'd be like, and then I gotta destroy some. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Ah, thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Like and subscribe and share the video. All right.